Hey everybody, this is part three. So when we're reassigning a string, we want to keep a couple of things in mind. Uh, one is going to be that strings are immutable. Now, what we mean by that is, um, well, let me just show you what I mean by that. So let's say we have a string and we set it equal to some initial value here. Let's say for some reason we wanted to change the first letter to a capital letter. So you might think that you'd be able to say string at zero, which would access uh, the first character in the string, and then assign that to T. Now, if we were to console.log uh, str at this point, theoretically, sorry, not T, capital I, we should see this with a capital I and then the rest of the word initial. Now, we're not going to. And the reason we're not going to is because this string is immutable. And that basically means that you can't go in and change certain portions of it. But what we can do is we could reassign this. We could just say str is equal to a new value. So let's go ahead and see an example of that. In this case, we have a string that we're calling uh, job, and it's shipping coordinator. And then we console.log the job before the reassignment. Now, we're going to reassign it because, uh, sorry, we're, we reassign it by leaving off the keyword var. And this assumes that the variable already exists. Now, if the variable doesn't exist, this actually does something called creating a global variable. Do not worry about that for now. That's the kind of thing that you'll do if you don't follow closely to what we're up to in this module zero, but is something that we're going to introduce towards the end of the module. So just hang in there if that's something you're really curious about or, or look it up, you know, global variables and scope, that, that's what that all relates to. So what we're doing here is we're reassigning job to be a completely different string, which allows us to um, kind of get around that immutability situation. So if we run this, we'll see that the job before the reassignment is shipping coordinator. And the job after the reassignment, congratulations, is director of shipping. So excellent work. Um, let's just assume that this is Robert Smalls. No, we, shouldn't, we should put more respect on his name. Let's assume this is just some random person. So anyway, we're going to complete a function, excuse me, that takes one string parameter and reassigns the input parameter to be reassigned. So this exact string reassigned, uh, then returns that input. Your function should not create any new variables and should reassign the input to the string reassigned, then return the input parameter. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, reassign a string. So we've got two test cases here as opposed to one, and it doesn't really change anything in terms of what we're going to do. The first thing is going to be copy the stub of the function and paste it in the replet. The second thing will be copy what we'll now call the test suite and start from here. So first is reassign input string to be the described string, and the described string is going to be uh, reassigned, and then return the input string. So provided that should be reassigned and should also be reassigned are both reassigned, then we are in at least halfway approachable shape. So should be reassigned, looking good. Let's go ahead and copy our function put it back into the input window, and find out what version of good shape we are in. Ah, excellent. It looks like we are in appropriate configuration. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.